Alright, motherfuckers, this is Master Marks, and I'm coming back with another motherfucking god a damn love. If you believe yourself, she has fallen away. Live fucking video. Shout out to the AW Pack Smokers and the motherfuckers in the live chat and the Master Marks Militia. Shout out to all my dogs. Shout out to K Breezy. Shout out to my boy Evan Gore, King Mike World, King King Mike's World. All my dogs, TW Booty, Booty Hunter, Destructor. All the OGs, Retro Neon. All my dogs. All right. Today's video is simply titled In WWE, Every Day is a Judgment Day. <laughs> Every fucking day in WWE is a Judgment Day. I mean, at the point, it's at the point where I see more about the Judgment Day than any wrestlers in the fucking WWE. This shit is crazy. I fuck with Dom. We okay. I don't give a damn about Finn Balor. Damien Priest, he, he's all right. But every day, <laughs> every day, every day we watch a WWE TV, we get to see the fucking Judgment Day. Why? Why? This is how you know that Triple H is a lazy booker. Because what Triple H will do is... And instead of Triple H taking the actual time to book a full show, he will just book the same shit every fucking week. Cody Rose, Sami Zayn, Jay Uso, Kevin Owens, The Judgment Day. The Judgment Day versus this person. The Judgment Day of Cody Rhodes and Jay Uso. Every fucking week, every day is a judgment day. This is the reason why a lot of people aren't really like big, big fans of the faction. Even though I don't hate it, I don't dislike it, but I don't love it. It's helped Dom a lot. It's given Dom a sense of identity, which is good because he really needed it because that boy was starving. That boy was struggling. He was having a hard motherfucking time. But every single day being a judgment day in WWE is insane. It's insane. I mean, honestly, take the bet off, Seth. Give it to Damian Priest, Finn Balor. Have them hold it both for a couple months so people can stop complaining about Finn Balor not having that many championships. Then take the belt off of Finn Balor and give it to somebody who deserved the fucking belt. Let's just let's get this judgment day shit over with. Because every single day being a judgment day is wild, nasty work. It's the lack of creativity that Triple H has. That Triple H has. That's the problem. It's the lack of creativity. The lack of creativity. The lack of knowing what the fuck he's doing. We get it. You love the Judgment Day. We, we we get it. We like Dom. He cool. Rhea, you know, she cool, whatever. But every day being a Judgment Day in WWE is fucking ridiculous. What is this brand split? There's been a brand split for multiple months, and I've seen members of the Judgment Day on both fucking brands. Why is that? Why? Every day can't be a judgment day. We need a break. There has not been one week in the past six months that we haven't seen the judgment day. We might not have seen Rhea, but we've seen the judgment day. If you're going to have Dom as the NXT North American champion, send his monkey ass to fucking NXT. Dom got what he needed to get from the Judgment Day. Now let him go over to NXT. Find that boy your manager. Put a mask on that boy. Do something. Let him go over to NXT. Because right now, every day can't be a judgment day. That's why I, I have a hard time watching weekly pro, the weekly program of wrestling. 
And you know what? I'm going to keep it real with y'all. When NWA go to CW and everything starts, I'm going to start covering every single episode of NWA on CW. I'm going to watch it, and I'm going to review over that shit. Because I fuck with NWA. I don't too much care about TNA, and you know I don't give a fuck about Tony Khan or AEW. But I fuck with TNA. I mean, uh, NWA, sorry. <laughs> I guess TNA is all right. Not terrible. They have a sense of identity in TNA, so that's good. Every day can't be a judgment day, Paul Levesque. We are tired of seeing the judgment day. We are tired of seeing that same four-way, six-way main event every fucking weekend every week every friday monday like come on man y'all complain about the fucking uh about the bloodline not y'all but these aw cocksuckers complain about the bloodline they need a motherfucker complain about the judgment day but you know they they boy Edge is in AEW doing absolutely fucking nothing. Hey, listen. AEW Pack Smokers. This is just this is just me being honest with y'all. Did y'all remember me motherfucking saying that Edge was gonna go to AEW and it wasn't gonna do nothing for AEW? Y'all remember that? What has happened? Edge is not a needle mover anymore. Edge is old. Unless you put him and Lita in, in the middle of the ring and he's sucking on Lita's titties, I don't think Edge is going to move the needle anymore. And this is just to get off topic. But I'm being honest here. I love Edge. I respect Edge. He's a legend. But he's not a needle mover anymore. That's me getting off topic because we're talking about Judgment Day, Edge, blah, blah, blah. At the end of the day, every day cannot be a Judgment Day. They have basically all the titles. They need to split up those tag team titles. Send the Raw ones over. Send the SmackDown ones over. Um, Raw needs a set of champ tag team champions. SmackDown needs a set of champ tag team champions. Um, that way, the Judgment Day can put the belts on. Uh, not put the belts on the line, but SmackDown champions go against Raw champions. We are going to get to see Roman Reigns versus Seth Rollins, possibly. That's cool. Right? That's what everybody like, right? I mean, I'm not the biggest Seth fan. I really don't give a fuck. And thank God, finally, Becky Lynch lost the NXT Championship. Why did she have it in the first place? Why? Why? Why she need it? But back to get on topic, every day cannot be a judgment day. We don't need to see Rhea Ripley, Dominic Mysterio, Damian Priest, and Finn Balor, and whoever that other short-ass motherfucker is. We don't need to see them every single time. Every day can't be a judgment day. Triple H, you need to figure it out. How to book your show without having to do the same thing over and over again. Because guess what? At this point, I know it's decoy ratings, and it don't really fucking matter. But as a wrestling fan or a fan of wrestling or a person who just watches wrestling in, in general, this shit getting boring. There's nothing to really report on Monday Night Raw because every day is, every Monday is a, is a judgment day. Every Friday is a judgment day. There's nothing to report. And y'all know, listen, y'all know I love L.A. Knight. I fuck with L.A. Knight, but L.A. Knight's not beating Roman Reigns. L.A. Knight about to get traded to Raw. L.A. Knight might even win the Royal Rumble. Cody Rose is going to beat Roman Reigns. We know it. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. But when that happens, 
when Cody Rose beats Roman Reigns or whoever beats Roman Reigns, I don't want to see fucking Cody Rose versus Damian Priest in the Judgment Day. I don't want to see that shit. And I don't even have a problem with the Judgment Day like that. It's just the fact that every day is a Judgment Day. Every day. If anything, Rhea as a heel by herself is more dominant than Rhea being a heel in the Judgment Day. Honestly. I hate to say it, it's time to break them up. Send Finn Balor to AEW or some shit. I don't know. Because at this point, this Judgment Day shit every week is annoying. And I'm over it. At the end of the day, I don't know what the fuck Paul Levesque is doing. I, I don't know what he's thinking. I don't know why every day is a judgment day, but I'm telling you. And please, Paul, please, please, for the love of God, Paul, just understand when I say this, every day don't have to be a judgment day. <laughs> we Put me and Kate Breezy in the ring. We're, we'll fight. We'll fight for the championship. We, we, we're going to be the tag team champion. We'll go against Cody Rose and Jey Uso. We'll do that. Or Jey Uso can't be drunk in the ring when I wrestle him, though, because I don't, I don't want him to fucking drop me on my head and I end up dying or some shit. But at this point, Paul, give us a contract and let us face Jay Uso and Cody Rose. Because I'm tired of seeing the Judgment Day. Let Alpha Academy face somebody. Let, let somebody else do something that isn't the Judgment Day. Get the Street Profits out of this boring-ass feud with the LWO. Nobody fucking cares about the LWO. I hate to say it. Shout out to all the Mexicans. Shout out to all the Bodiquas in the motherfucking chat. But guess what? Nobody cares for the LWO. It's not relevant no more. Zelina Vega is doing absolutely fucking nothing. Santos Escobar is doing absolutely nothing. Rey Mysterio, it's time to call it quits. Those other two, I don't even know who the fuck they are. But, I mean, they're decent. It's it's time to, it's time to let them go, on and do their own thing. They don't need to be in the LWO no more. Let Carlito do Carlito shit. Shit, the LWO is just like the Judgment Day at this point too. I'm tired of seeing them. I don't want to see them no more. Let the Street Profits be heels and do heel shit. Stop having them be heel faces. That's the problem, man. That is the problem with wrestling. Th these companies won't allow people to just be heels. There's a difference between a heel and a difference between a face. Gunther is a heel. Chad Gable is a face. We don't need to make wrestlers be in-betweeners. See, that is the shit to appease to people who just can't be happy and satisfied with anything. So you try to keep a person at that level where they're like a heel, but also a baby face. That's like MJF. MJF as a heel is somebody to actually give a fuck about. MJF as an in-betweener. I forgot MJF was even in wrestling. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. Keep it a stack with you. I'd be forgetting about MJF. At this point, I don't give a fuck MJF come to WWE in 2024 because let me look what he's doing now. Absolutely nothing. He got they belt, the big belt, and he's still not making the company worth a fucking penny. It still got empty seats. Still ain't got nobody going to see it. They out there giving out AEW tickets away at motherfucking... Uh, <laughs> They giving out AEW tickets. And what is that shit called? What the Alston be doing? Damn, what is that shit called? What is it, FCW? Is it? OVW. They out there giving out. They out there giving out AEW tickets at OE, OVW. That motherfucker Big Show said, come get a hot dog and a free ticket. That's pathetic. That is Pathetic. But we'll talk about that soon. Once again, I'm tired of every day being a judgment day. Give somebody else some TV time. 
just do something, please. Please do something. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, tell us if you hate us, tell us if you love us. Shout out to the AEW Pack Smokers. Our cash app is still the same. It's still Master Marks. PayPal is still the same, Master Marks. If you want to put a super chat or a super thanks or a super sticker, I appreciate it. I surely do. We haven't got to 1,000 subscribers yet, so I still am not making money off of this just yet. That's why sometimes, if I'm going to be honest with y'all, AEW Pack Smokers, I'll be working. I got to make some bread. So until we make a bread off this shit, off, off these fucking, um, off these ads and shit. Sometimes I don't get to make videos like I used to make videos because a lot of my time is consumed, consumed in the big business world, uh, which is very unfortunate because I absolutely hate corporate America. Um, but we getting there. Y'all have been with me throughout this whole journey. We almost to a thousand subscribers and I fucking appreciate y'all and everything y'all do. Um, when y'all get chances to put in super thanks and super chats, Super stickers. If y'all feel like doing it, do it. If you don't want to do it, fuck it. You know, I ain't got to do it, but I still fuck with y'all at the end of the day. Um, because the AEW Pack Smokers are my fucking family. We in this shit together. Um, we, we came here with the same fucking mission. It's about loving wrestling, talking about these bullshit AEW fucking cocksuckers, and uh, smoke AEW pack. You know, that's our favorite pack to smoke. Tony Khan pack. Blonde bitch pack. CM Punk pack. Fuck CM Punk. I, I don't even want to say his name. I don't even want to say his name. Anyways, like I said, um, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, comment, tell us if you hate us, tell us if you love us. Shout out to the AEW Pack Smokers and the motherfucking Master of Marks Militia and all of my dogs in the comment section. Um, fuck Tony Khan. <laughs> fuck AEW. <laughs> Fuck Paul Levesque because he constantly always got me watching the Judgment Day. Stop making every day of my fucking life watching wrestling the Judgment Day. Fuck CM Punk. We don't give a fuck about him being in Survivor Series. It's clear that he's going to be there. I'm off this bitch. <laughs>